you know, we had, we, we had various partners, for example, I won't name them, but we, we worked very closely with a camera company mm -hmm. to try to help them with their Mavlink implementation to get it working with Prism. And it was like pulling teeth. It was hard. It was impossibly hard. It was really hard. And so in their defense though, this, this camera company didn't have crystal clear standards, one could say, to follow. And then once I started learning about Alterian and PX4, in the PX4 community, right? Like Alterian is the enterprise customer, industrial customer yep. leading this, but really drone code as well. But there's an ecosystem behind everything. Exactly. Yeah. What, I, what I really admire about what you guys are doing is helping to create the hardware standards of which manufacturers like myself can follow. What connections do we, do we need? Yeah. Do we need Ethernet? <laughs> do we need USB? Is there like a voltage? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. do, do we need IOs? Do we need serial connect? Like, what does it need to be? Well, you guys enter the Pixhawk payload bus. Yeah. And then there's enterprise customers like Freefly putting their two cents in. And, you, you know, you have people from the PX4 community and um, Alterian is leading development in there. So then you have these group meetings where it's like, hey, here's what we believe the hardware standard should yeah. be. And then so we then contribute um, in, for example, like our, our newest GCS, which we call Contact. Our, our engineers have been working um, the radio standard, the Pixhawk radio, the radio standard. Radio standard yeah. yeah, so we helped contribute back, right, to the radio standard. Which is, which is great because now we know, you know what connections need to be there. And so I think that's the biggest difference that I've seen between uh, RG Pilot Cube and PX4 mm -hmm. kind of any, anything else. And, and I admire that because we make hardware. And I'm gonna give you my take and it's not something I do often and I do and certainly don't do it publicly and not in my podcast, but I'm gonna try to do it my best effort. So yes, there are two big communities and Ardo Pilot is amazing and I think Whenever you want to go and fly an autopilot, you just flash it and it just work. Yeah, yeah. But uh, people often try to compare us to them, like PX4 to autopilot. It then miss the fact that we're not really trying to compete with them. We're not right. really trying to be right. the best at anything. We're trying to be like a platform, right? So that anyone else can build on top of that. 100%. So we don't want you to, we don't expect you to come and flash this and be able to fly perfectly. We yeah. expect you to come and tune it because every aircraft is different. It is. And you need to know what you're actually going for. Yeah. And then the advantage of working with our ecosystem, of course, in drone code, like working in the work group, like you mentioned, the payload work group. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you were giving me flashbacks when you were mentioning like, the, what this connectors do I need in this payload yeah. standard? Yeah. Do I need Ethernet? Yeah. Do I need HDMI? Yeah. Like, like what, what right, do I right, need? Because right. every gimbal manufacturer has their own standard. Every exactly. camera manufacturer thinks they have their own best SDK, but at the end of the day, like, okay, maybe it's great, but you can't interoperate with everything else. Yeah, you need 100%. to be plug and play because at the end of the day, honestly, thinking about the pilots mm -hmm. and their investment in their platforms, you got a 60,000 foot payload yeah. and like a 20,000 drone. The worst thing you can do is like crash it and you have a good payload that you can't use anymore because like you can't take it to another drone. Exactly. And that's, that's just a killer. I and mean, that kills the industry because you don't you don't have that fund available to be able to purchase that next A hundred percent. And and so where I see like where the rubber meets the road is like, you know, Grenzi comes out with their PE, which it's tailored to Skynode, but has the uh, Pixhawk payload bus kind of um, the, 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 the dovetail yeah, the connector mechanical. That, that Freefly helped with as well. Yep. And we plumb that to the, our back panel. So we have like two connectors that go to our back panel that then goes to their dovetail and we plug it in and it literally worked. Like it literally does work. Yep. It's great. That's what I'd love to do is like, I, I think for the industry, like we should, like I want to continue contributing what we can. So if we think the community can use anything we're using, then by all means, let's let's go for it. And I'd, I'd be more than happy to, you know, push that back to the open source community because we all win. And I think that with more standards, things get better. Yep, it really does.